hunting flooded corn. I don't do a whole lot of flooded corn hunting, but I'm coming to find out that in Missouri they really love their flooded corn. So um, we're gonna tuck these layout boats. We got Keegan with me today. He's gonna be hunting on the mow marsh, and I've got the refuge runner. We're gonna tuck that into the corn a little bit, use the corn as our hide because that's the only thing we got. And we put out five dozen-ish decoys. We're trying something new. You guys will see it a little later once it gets lighter out, but we took basically every lucky duck pole I had and we strung them all together and we got a mega pole. So we're gonna put that kind of a little bit out from the spread looking like a duck that's coming in and uh, hopefully that catches some attention to some birds. That's a trick that we used way back in the day and I haven't used it ever since because I mean I haven't really done a whole lot with spinners. So I think this is my year for spinners. I finally got a new one and it actually works. So. We're running the crappy one that might not work, and we're running the brand new one that will definitely work. We got four pulsators we're gonna put out for water motion. There's like no wind today. Um, that's just kind of the nature of the beast. It's gonna be like 55 degrees for the high. It's tough, uh, just conditions wise, it's not very ducky. So that's the, that's the game plan for today. We just got a whole mix, mallards, pintails, widgeon, spoonie, redhead, teal, like basically every type of decoy that Final Approach makes. It's out in there and We'll see what we can get. Hopefully we can get into some big ducks. People have been shooting mallards, so I think we might hold off on some early teal and wait for the big ducks to really start moving and hopefully shoot the first limit of mallards this year. So make sure to drop a like if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, and stay tuned. This is gonna be a fun hunt. Are we shooting these teal? You don't want to, we don't have to. But if you want to. Hey, there's the two mallards right there. Cora. Smoked him. Yeah, man. I'll take that one. Wait, is she coming into your boat? Here. Drop. Place. Oh, gadwall. Place. Heck yeah. I stand corrected on the whole mallard thing. <laughs> There's a couple big ducks right there. If I can find my duck call, that'd be great. Here we go. Widgeon, shoot it. Cora. Here. Was that you or me? I think we shot about the same time. All right. She's saying it's your bird, I guess. Thank you, Cora. Cora, here. Oh, witch. Yeah, I heard him going. It's a little tricky shooting out of these boats. Yeah, it takes to get used to. It. Yeah. Go coming from our right. That's a cripple. Cora. I might have to go help her with that one. Sit. Look. No, sit. No. Back. 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 Had a girl. Yeah! Nicely done! Drop. Freaking stud of a wood duck. That's awesome. Well, that brings me up to two. I just got 
awesome looking wood duck. Uh, I thought he was gonna be a cripple, but apparently not. Got to work core on a little bit of a blind retrieve. We're still working on that when we can, but definitely making progress compared to last year. This is some great water for her to be hunting. I mean, she can run through any, nothing. She's not swimming at all today. So this is gonna be just water where she's gonna really excel. Layout boats are working good. Hide is good. Uh, we just need some birds to do their thing. Be quiet. So I think it's gonna be definitely like a mid-morning flight is when we're gonna really see the most of them. We had some teal work in, but we're kind of waiting for big ducks. We just really wanna shoot a lot of big ducks today. So that's what we're doing. I think, uh, I think it's gonna work out good. I haven't really been convinced about our super tall spinner over there, but time will tell. Sun's about to come up over the tree line, so I think that'll help us out tremendously. There's some green wings. I'm gonna shoot a green wing. Cora. Yeah. For you? Gosh darn it. Here. Here. Drop. I mean, we could probably take some corns and put them on the boats. That might help a little bit. Well, that'll help us out at least a little bit. That was a nice spoonie. Oh, I, I gotta get him. Yeah, I see him. Cora! I wasn't planning on shooting a spoonie today unless it looked nice and that one looks pretty freaking nice. It's probably gonna look better than the one I got mounted, honestly. Hey, those twos and sixes have got some range. There it is. Spoonies, bro. Had a girl. Look at him. He's got bright orange feet, too. He's looking good. Ooh, hot diggity darn. This is a treat. We don't really get them that look all that great. Drop. Drop. Place. Well, I did say I was holding out for greenheads. I just didn't specify what kind. That's true. Yeah, he looks about like the one I got mounted. He's almost identical to the one I got mounted. Nice, dude. Up. Ah, uh, she broke. Big time. That a girl. This has been a little tougher than I anticipated. Like even he didn't want to land in the decoys. I know. It's got to be, but we got too much crap set out to move. <laughs> Thank you. 
drop. Good. Place. Oh yeah, I see him. Cora. That was a little awkward there. Yeah. I thought it was going to keep going. But... Yeah, she got it. Nice. Malardo Hanno. Drop. No. Drop. Place. Coming on the left. <laughs> Here you go, shoot that one. Sit. Cora! I don't know who eventually got that one. That was you. I only shot once. Good. Place. This was an interesting little hunt, guys. We we're packing things up. It's, it just didn't work out quite like we hoped it would. There's no wind, it's kind of warm, and all the birds that are here have been here for a long time. So it's, uh, it's just stale ducks and no wind and warm weather. Kind of got to take what you can get. But I got two mallards, a gadwall, a uh, decently nice drake spoonie and a drake wood duck. So not too bad. Keegan, what'd you get? A gadwall widgeon and a teal? Yep. So uh, eight ducks. Not too bad. Could be worse. We passed up on teal early on, which we probably shouldn't have considering we're not full limits packing out of here. But, yeah. you know, sometimes you got to just burn those teal early and, you know, maybe hope you can get some big ducks. But... We did the opposite, <laughs> let the teal go and hope for the big ducks to come. And we got a few, but man, it was tough. The hide in the corn was rough. Um, and no wind, stale birds. You guys get the gist. So if you guys enjoyed it, leave me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Listen to Cora, she's telling you, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for all the future hunts coming out. And I guess we're gonna get on out of here and we'll catch you guys on the next one.